Hi everyone, Mike from Fisher MN here. Let's get our late summer, early fall tackle box ready. I hate to admit it, but looking ahead, the temperatures are getting cooler. In fact, in Minnesota next week, it's gonna be in the 50s, which means those nights are gonna be pretty darn cold. So, we might have to change up some tactics might even have to put the frog away eventually. So let's see what we can do about filling up our fall tackle box. The first lures that a lot of people use in the fall are swim baits. I like to use the Swim and Runner by Randy Howell. If you remember, Randy Howell won the Bassmaster Classic a few years back. Um, just kind of a classic lure, minnow style paddle tail lure. Um, use some natural colors and this can be a good fall lure. Um, I don't know about you, but one of my favorite fall lure colors is white. So definitely gotta have one of these in the tackle box. Next lure, I like to use the chatterbait. Um, I guess a spinnerbait could work too. I just prefer chatterbait. I've always used it um, when I'm using that style of bait. And you can fish it slow, you can fish it fast. You want something coming off the back. This one doesn't come with any plastic, so I've got some nice white three inch curly tails that I'm gonna put off the back of it. In fact, this combination got me one of my biggest northerns of the season in October last year. It was a nice fish and a great fight. Okay, so if I'm not using a frog, I still love the topwater bite. Especially on the river, it can go a little bit longer. And I've had success on Mille Lacs Lake with smallmouth all the way into mid-October on uh, topwater baits. So what I do is I switch to more of a hard bait. Um, you might have seen the hidden version of this. This is called a Skitter V by Rapala. And the Skitter V um, is a walk the dog style bait. So you're going to be going back and forth. And the smallies kind of love this color combination and this style of bait. So kind of min minnow imitating topwater baits can still work even in, in the fall. My all-time favorite Rapala is the Skitter Walk. The Skitter V just has a little different shape and they both have a unique kind of rattle system. Listen to this. There is one big BB in there and it makes a nice loud rattle to get the fish's attention. As you can see, this one's pretty beat up, so you know it's been hit quite a bit. I had a stretch before I got my kayak on Mille Lacs where I had a shore spot and did really well with the smallmouth bass, and most of them came on a skitter walk. I'll put some pictures up around me so you can see some of the success I had, and it just goes to show, if you're watching this and you don't have a boat, find some good shore spots. There's plenty out there in Minnesota, and I'm sure wherever you live, you can find some spots to catch some fish from shore. in my fall slash late summer tackle box are some crankbaits. So you can notice the different size of the lips. If you don't know much about crankbaits, that kind of decides how far they're going to dive. This is a Yozuri 3D. Nice kind of natural fish color. And this one has a big lip, so this is going to dive up to 10 feet. Rappelin makes it easy. This is called a DT lure. And this is a DT8, which means it dives to 8 feet. And then I also, in my box, will have a scatter wrap. 
and you can see the lip is a little smaller on this one so this one's not going to deep dive as deeply as the other ones the only difference between this and a dt is the lip is kind of cupped and it gives it some erratic kind of action so having a variety of crankbaits to cast always a good idea in the fall in fact in november on a local river i had some awesome luck with some crankbaits. Here's what that looked like. Minnesota you definitely feel like you're stealing a fishing day when you're catching them on a river in November. So trolling is another great tactic and there's a couple of lures that I like to use for trolling. Um, definitely some lipped lures. I like using a longer minnow bait in the fall because it seems like fish are looking for a little bigger meal if they can get one. Um, but also a storm hot and taut if you can find one with a metal lip that's great. They have great action under the water, plus there's all kinds of color combinations. In the fall, you might need to be switching quite a bit um, to find exactly what the fish are looking for. So trolling with some lipped baits, always a good idea. Another go-to trolling lure is a MEP spinner. This one's kind of old, um, but you can see it's got a double blade. I have double bladed, I have single bladed. I have quite a few videos where I'm either trolling or casting a MEP spinner. Everything likes a MEP spinner. I've caught walleyes, I've caught northerns, and I've caught bass, smallmouth and largemouth, on a MEP spinner. So kind of a good all-around bait. Um, also, trolling is a great way to search out some fish. I also like to maybe have some new things in the boat for fall. And here they are, Zicada lures. Um, Kind of a natural colors. We got a grayish, silverish minnow, and then we got a golden one. Um, I'm looking forward to using these on the river as well as maybe off a weed line on a lake. Look like minnows in the water. They have just very good vibration. I've used them a little bit, but this year I'm uh, planning on trying to use them a little bit more. So you will definitely see it if I catch some on these this fall. One last thing about lures I'm going to use in the fall. I am not going to put away my Booyah Pad Crasher until the fish tell me I need to. And I say that because just knowing a little bit about frogs, um, if you don't know, a lot of frogs spend their winters underwater. So frogs migrate to many bodies of water and they don't just breathe with lungs, they can also absorb oxygen into their skin. So that's why these little babies, if you can find just the right time where they're migrating into the lakes, the fish will be keying on them. In fact, last season, I had a trip where I think I hit it just right and the bass were just devouring the frogs. I called it my epic day of bass fishing and I'll put a link in the description if you wanna check that out. So don't put the frog away until the fish tell you to. we go. Nice fish. Oh, 
All right. So I'm gonna have that in the box. There we go. We got it all loaded up. All we gotta do is get out there. I'm gonna be trying to get out a little bit more this fall. Last fall I didn't fish a whole lot, but um, maybe some after work times and for sure on weekends, I'm gonna get out there and see if we can get a monster or two in the fall. I'm also gonna make sure I do a couple of trips for some really big fish. One of my favorite fall lures, the Storm Kickin' Minnow. As you can see, it's got some great action in the tail. This looks great in the water, and uh, I've had some big hits on this. In fact, I lost a monster on Mille Lacs, so now I've switched out and I put some bigger hooks on this. So trolling with a big lure like a kickin' minnow, that might do pretty well. Now it's not gonna fit in that small tackle box, but here's a little solution for you. If you can find a paintball tube, I found this one I believe at Walmart, they're maybe three or four bucks. You can put in your big lure. And have it stored out of the way with no hooks exposed. Um, one little modification I've made to some of the tubes is I've drilled holes in them. Um, just to keep that ventilation because you don't want your hooks rusting um, if you have it sealed up in there for a while. So there you go, little tip. If you got a couple of big lures you want to bring in your kayak to troll with, use these tubes. So I will also, if I'm going for bigger fish, bring uh, my bigger fish tackle box. And these by no means are monster fall lures, but um, they've worked for me. Um, I've got a double cowgirl here, uh, bigger topwater bait, and some perch colored baits. Got a super shad wrap, classic fall lure, as well as a live target perch because those fish are going to be trying to look for some of those bait fish. Um, also a bucktail. Those are all good options as you search for a bigger fish in the fall. So I guess actually I'm going to have two tackle boxes out there. So there you go. Late summer, early fall, there's some good fishing ahead. Wherever you are, I hope they're biting. Um, consider subscribing to my channel. That would really help me out. Either way, thanks for watching.